Alright guys, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Um, last time, we did the, uh, the uh, Battle of the Bridge. And now we're going to continue with After the Storm. It appears that Lieutenant Gunther's plan worked. An impressive start, soldier. Thank you, Captain. The kid's crazy. Drove a damn tank right into the stinking river. Yeah, and I can't believe it worked. I'm still in shock. All right, you two. Now hold up your side of the bargain and you listen to Welkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The kid might got the chops to command, but that don't mean I gotta like any dark hairs. Hey, come on! It's okay, Alicia. I'm used to it by now. But I hope... I know the day will come when Darkson's can join society as equals. Hey! Hope I'm not interrupting anything! It's me again, reporting for GBS. Lieutenant Gunther, that was quite an impressive result on your first mission. Technically, that was our second. Yes, thanks to the squad's hard work, we managed to take back the Great Vassal Bridge. Any impressions on things to come now that you've gotten your first taste of victory? Yet again, technically, that was our second. Impressions? Well, let's see. Bridges are important. They link the roads that bring people what they need. I'd like to become a sort of bridge, linking my crew together. I think that's my new goal. Hmm. A parting wish. Sorry, this is about all I can do. But maybe... Once everybody returns, they'll see a couple of lion's paws blooming, and it'll start to feel like home again. Hey, Alicia, we're heading out soon. Okay, I'll be right there. Well, flowers, do your stuff. Chapter 5 The Cloden Wildwood. New episode. Personnel, skirmish. Oh, another skirmish. Oh, man. Anyway, um, I don't think this skirmish is all that bad. I don't remember. I will need to run it a few times to figure it out. Um, anyway. New on Welkin is... In secondary military education, he chose tank operation. At university officer training, in addition, he earned credentials as tank commander. And Captain Verat. Uh, drafted during EW1, she joined Gallia's militia as a sniper. Electing to remain in the military after the war's end, her work ethic quickly saw her promoted. Ooh, she has a new... Oh, yeah, she has that other outfit. <laughs> uh, okay. Weaponry. What else did we get? Ooh, the VBPL. This weapon could rightfully be called the grandfather of all anti-tank lances. Developed by Von Bismarck under the direction of founder Adolf Von Bismarck, um, a leader in explosive research. As the first major power to realize the tank's battle potential, the Empire was also active in deploying the means for combating enemy tanks. The designation PL comes from the term Panzerlance. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. All right. The ZMSG. The ZMSG was based on an infantry gun carried by many of the Empire's soldiers during EW1. Particularly noted for its firing accuracy, the SG also features a Rudolph Company variable small arms scope. Lauded for its accuracy and uncommon shock-resistant barrel, it first saw use with the Empire's mountain ranger units. Though the ZMG's design allowed for a bayonet to be affixed under the muzzle, there are very few instances of it being used during the Second European War. Alright. Um, any, 
anything new in the glossary? Nope. Okay. So, two headquarters. Uh, first things first. Hello, Welkin. Here to fine tune your squad? Only if you have new people. Oh, and there have been some new recruits. You should take a look at the master list. Sounds good. All right. Who's new? Caesar is new. Ramsey's new. Aw, oh, man. Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, let's go to Castle Front. Hey! Dropping by to read the writing on the wall? That's a good man. Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Alright. Militia claims Vassal Bridge. Uh, Gallia's militia brings home the glory. As the first operation in what is likely a full-scale counteroffensive, the 3rd Regiment reclaimed the Great Vassal Bridge. A vital trade artery. A vital trade artery. After rousing the Empire's local defenses on the 14th, this officially frees Randries from the need to seal its walls rather than assail the Empire's bridgehead. Barricade. Uh, the militia opted to swim a tank across the river and attack from the rear, an unconventional strategy to say the least. The drawbridge was then opened, dumping the rest of the defensive force into the drink. The man behind this bold plan? Welker Gunthan, uh, 22, is none other than the son of EW1's hero, Belgen Gunther. This acorn hasn't fallen far after all. Alright, Galicia, or sorry, Gallia to pull out of north. On the 20th, the Gallian forces in the north announced their retreat from the area. Though no details were given, the Imperial takeover of Fausen, keystone among the North Gallian industrial cities, is likely a chief cause. The capture of Fausen, a, a center for Gallia's ragnite, steel, and oil refineries, struck a massive blow to the nation's productivity. Though the meeting among Gallian army leaders held the day, held the day word of Fausen's fall arrived, lasted well into the night. No official word has yet been issued as to a specific plan for liberation of the city. So, ha -ha. make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? Oh, okay, that's not the new stuff. Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. I'll be waiting for you. Uh-huh. How much experience do we have? 97? All right, let's check the war cemetery. Hello again, son. I'll teach you healing request today. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Ooh. Well, what is your decision? As long as it's not ten grand. Ha ha! Yes, please. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. All right. Uh, let's stop by the training field first. I know I don't. Oh, I have enough to level like one Welcome guy. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots. Um. Train all you uh, want. I've got all day. Go away. Um. Yeah, I could level one. So let's see here. I could level one and then make the rest. Uh, I think I'm gonna level the shock trooper. And then let's put wait how much is that okay 700 about 350 there about 250 there and about 250 there I got no use for tears sweat 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 Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order! Put it to good use out there! Attack boost! Anti-personnel, ooh. Alright. Yeah, that worked fairly well. Alright. 
Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. Now over to R&D, where I will be skipping all that stuff. I should be skipping his, but... Alright, develop weapons, rifles. Uh, ooh -hoo. Yes, please. Here you Dang it. Dang it. Ooh. Okay, armor goes up, pierce goes up, range goes up, aim stays the same. No grenade. Ooh, uniforms. Yay! Shut up. You're annoying. Go away. All right. Uh, body enhancements. Okay. Nope. Uh, uh, nope. Nope. Uh. Ooh. Wait. What? What is this? All set. Yeah. 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 What does it do? We'll put it over there for now. Um. All right. Let's go all the way back. Come back. Shush. Jeez. You're so annoying. <laughs> Aw, man. All right. Let's go take care of that real quick. Personnel. So, Alex. Uh-huh. A fan of any spot with a clear view, he was known for dropping everything to climb tall trees he came across. Vice's tales of the sky always captivated him. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to get Vice. All right. Kobe. Alicia bears a strong resemblance to the daughter he lost in EW1, seeing her as a constant reminder of his loss, leading him to keep his distance. Oh. oh I'm sorry, buddy. Nina. The heavy armor covering tanks and blast suits worn by lancers run counter to her philosophy of fighting with one's body alone, earning them both her disdain. Hermes. Uh, prone to exhaustion, he lacks endurance. Though he has no trouble finding dates, he is often too tired to stay out for long, leading to the ladies, leading the ladies to think him a flake. Uh, Ted. He dreams of becoming a full-time clown once the war ends. Despite countless attempts, he has yet to make Marina laugh even once. Okay, so I need to get Marina. I do need to get Marina. Oh, no, not Juno. Frisia. Uh, having lost her parents at an early age, she grew up footloose and fancy-free. As a result, she is unused to other people counting on her, which she finds taxing. Uh, Ramsey. Squad 7 Engineer. Her love for tinkering with machines saw her enroll in a technical university. There, she began to work on developing new weapons. Caesary. Uh, sniper 23. Always looking out for number one. He elected to become a sniper in order to keep himself safely removed from the front lines. Well, I shouldn't get you as a sniper then. Catherine. Ever since an ammo shortage left her to helplessly watch an ally get killed. She has felt extremely anxious without a loaded weapon close at hand. Alright. Now, we can get back to the episodes. Uh, severing the supply line. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of Central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. 
Dismissed. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck a... All right, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind, you know that? <laughs> I'm saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right. I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. New episode. Ooh, Maximilian and the tr Trimmer V. Trumvery. Trumvery. I'm going to go with Trumvery. Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in Central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. We will require reinforcements. They will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius, Selvaria. Be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden base and supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Galia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. New episode. A path uncovered. What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. Here we go. Hey, great. What did he find? A map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Welkin. What are these, some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long-beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? Ugh. 
Hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. Countless tiny losses. That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air! Mike? It's... a pig? It looks like a poor cavian piglet. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? I've never seen a pig with wings. I'll take a look further in. Well? There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Oh. Even all the way out here, the war is still claiming lives. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. Mike? Mike! <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. I don't remember how long this is. Um, so I'm going to end this off here. And then next time we'll um, do the battle at Cloden. Um, yeah. If you guys liked the episode, leave a like button or click the like button down below. If you're liking the series so far, consider hitting the subscribe button if you're not already. And uh, leave any comments or suggestions down there in the uh, comment section. We'll see you guys next time.